pretty pleased today with the effort. Uh, you know, you come, you, you got to expect great effort every day, and that's how you get better. But when you go as physical as we went yesterday, or as many plays as we went yesterday, and and then come back and get it again today, that's uh, that's what you want. That's what you need to build a build the kind of program we're all looking forward to having. So I was very excited that the guys came ready to work, enthused, and so forth. Uh, we'll take tomorrow off and be ready to go on Sunday morning. It ought to be a pad cracking affair. Oh, it's disappointing uh, when you're the quarterback, but I coach the defense too. So I, it was exciting to see the defense make a play. Uh, we don't have everything in, uh, but I just want to compete in those ways. It'll it'll uh, help us when we get ready to go in the fall, and, and uh, defense won that drill. Why'd you go to the revolver so much in practice? Well, we're experimenting. You know, it's a, uh, and you can't know anything until you really invest in the experiment and so that's why we've uh, Sunday will be the end of the first two weeks of the deal and, and then we'll make some decisions about how to spend our next two weeks. So we're planning to do a little bit of scrimmaging on Sunday? Is we're going to scrimmage a lot on Sunday, most of the scrimmage. You get three days where you can have more than 50 percent of the practice scrimmage and, and Sunday we've devoted to that. How much of this with, with the new offense have you had to just go back to fundamentals with these guys and tell them to slow down and focus on the bases? Well, you never get too far away from fundamentals, regardless of what offense you're teaching. But, uh, you know, you have, to, you have to be patient through the rough spots. When kids are trying to do something new and not sure where they're going and, and you know, there's this comfort zone. It's like that blanket that the, your, your child always wants to hold on to. You know, you, I want to go back there. And, and, and you got to force yourself to keep pushing and keep pushing until something else becomes comfortable. And that's what we're doing right now. What have you seen with Kevin aside from the off, off the field? And the guys this year is different. Well, you know, just like the normal progression for anybody, he's maturing, he's gaining confidence, he's gaining uh, stature amongst his teammates. And, you know, all that's important to be the quote unquote quarterback. And that doesn't mean that Richard Brijo can't be doing the same thing. You know, the quarterback, regardless of which string he is, has to be that guy. And uh, that's what you're kind of, he, he's starting to wear it. You know, it's starting to become more part of who he is. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to the other kids uh, inheriting that trait as well. What has jumped out at you? Just well in the no huddle, he he has to be so much more vocal, you know, and and telling, and he has to know everything that's going on in the field, and and uh, I think it's kind of fun to watch him, you know, direct traffic, and have kids run into him and ask him what exactly they're going on, and and when you have that kind of authority on the field, you uh, you naturally become that kind of uh, a leader uh, persona that everybody kind of attributes to quarterback play. Greg, how's uh, David Carter been doing at that defensive? Terrific, you know, uh, very excited about David. You know, we need David to be a great player in the absence of Brian Price. Uh, and I think Nate Chandler's coming along, Justin Edison's doing a nice job, and Donovan Carter. Uh, Andy Keene, uh, got bad news, has to have a surgery on his finger. Uh, he uh, had a tendon come loose, and so we've got to fix that so it's not a permanent issue. And uh, so Andy won't be here for any more of spring ball, but uh, those other four kids are doing a nice job. Nick has some uh, some stinger issues, so we're gonna uh, take another look on Monday, see what uh, we can do to brace him up to make those subside and and probably give him some rest time. Uh, my hope is that uh, we'll be able to figure out exactly what it is and solve it, and he'll be ready to rumble in the fall. Uh, but you can't mess around with that stuff when it becomes nerves in your uh, upper torso. Is there an issue with Marlon Pollard? Hamstring, high hamstring issue, better. Uh, hopefully not out for all the spring. Hopefully he'll be back uh, as early as next week. How about Josh Smith? Josh Smith is a uh, PCL injury. Uh, not thought to be as serious as once considered, uh, but still probably precautionary-wise out for the spring. Has surgery been ruled out? Or is that Surger surgery's been ruled out. Anything concern you on the defensive line part of the ball? A couple of holes well, pretty big. Well, uh, depth. You know, we've missed a cl cl couple classes in defensive line recruiting. It just wasn't uh, wasn't a, the kind of guys we could use, and, and uh, so we're going to count on these four. And then we've got some incoming guys that we got to count on as well. Coach, you mentioned the no huddle that will be utilized in the 
We call it the revolver here. Uh, yeah, exactly. With Derringer, hopefully. You know, when, you take, when you take the Mona Lisa, you don't rename it Susie. It's Good point. Good point. Susie Lisa? Susie Lisa. <laughs> um, the no huddle is a component of it. You can do it without uh, the no huddle component, but we just figured it would be nice to have it. The only way, again, this is kind of your laboratory spring ball, to do it is almost an exclusive at this portion of the season so that you can have it if you need it in the fall and uh, you learn how to communicate it all. You know, so it, it's, uh, it's, just, it's an experiment that we're going to live with throughout spring ball. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll make uh, some decisions on Sunday night after we're looking at the scrimmage tape as to how we want to proceed through the next week and then we'll do it again after that Friday scrimmage as to what we want to do in the last week tune up some of the stuff we've already know how to do. In Sunday you'll be hitting, full hitting? Or? Yeah, it's scrimmage, okay. yeah, yeah, tackle and all that stuff. Um, out of the pistol, you need a little athleticism out of the quarterback. Revolver. How, how, revolver. How is, Prince, what do you how is Prince taking the running part? Uh, you know what, he's doing really well. If you watch the, the tape from a year ago, he was a very effective runner. Uh, sometimes, most times, broken plays. But uh, he made a lot of plays with his legs that uh, as we watched him over the course of the season in the cutups, you saw we can take advantage of maybe in some more design situations. Pretty good? All right, guys, appreciate you.